So about a month ago, we started our steak series. Now we made steak from the Beyond Burger and we made steak from the Impossible Burger. Now there is a bunch of different plant-based steak recipes out there, but for the most part, most of those steak recipes consist of just pure wheat gluten pure seitan, whatever you want to call it, it is just pure gluten strands, and those come out really good. But we are trying to elevate that steak. We are trying to take a vegetarian steak to the next level. Now I get a lot of my inspiration from heading over to the Asian markets, and one of the things that I saw in my local Asian market was verisoy. Now verisoy, this stuff right here, is a textured vegetable protein, a textured soy protein, and it is a textured strand or soybean fiber is what they call it. Now I bought this soybean fiber just to kind of check it out and see what it looked like, see what it did, see what it tasted like. And one of the things that I immediately noticed was on its own, just by itself, when you chew it, it has a very strong resemblance to meat. Now that is because of its fibrous texture. Now you wouldn't normally think of a beef as being hairy or fibery like this, but your brain does when you chew it. So let's try it out. Let's try some of these Verisoy strands combined with some of the ingredients that we already know to make ourselves a better plant-based steak. Now we're gonna start this journey with the Verisoy with a steak, but I do believe that this textured protein is going to pave the path for some future fake meats. Let's check this out, let's see how it works, let's flavor it up and cook it, and let's see if we can make ourselves a steak. Okay, so Verisoy, essentially, it's made with soybean protein, soybean fiber, soy sauce, sugar, salt, vegetarian seasonings, and vegetarian flavor. It already has a pretty good meaty flavor just by itself. We're gonna upgrade that meaty flavor to make it a little bit more steak-like, and we're also gonna add some other ingredients to help kind of bind it and give it a chew when heated. Because right now, this is just like a flake, it's just a fiber. We wanna put all those fibers together. So, first off, I'm gonna use about a cup of the fibers, the textured protein here. We're gonna mix that with about a half of a cup of faba bean protein, two tablespoons of methyl cellulose. It's gonna be about the most methyl cellulose I've used in a recipe. A quarter tablespoon of konjac root. This is a gum. This is gonna really help kind of gum and bind everything together. Now for some of the flavoring. Tablespoon of white vinegar powder, about a half tablespoon of mushroom seasoning, tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes. I'm just gonna do a few sprinkles of garlic powder. And then we're just gonna mix the dry ingredients together. At this point, it is pretty tough to actually see like a steak coming out of this, but I'm still very confident. So this is where our liquid ingredients come in, the juice, the extra flavor, what's gonna kind of bring this together. We're gonna do about a half a cup, if we can get it, of beet juice. Now I'm just using the juice from canned beets. We're gonna fill the rest of that up with water, so that way we have a half of a cup of beet juice, half of a cup of water. I'm gonna add about a little over a teaspoon of liquid smoke and about a teaspoon of Marmite, which is just a yeast extract. I'm trying to get that Marmite mixed in there. So at this point, it should be a very deep red color. I'm not gonna say like a blood color, but it is a very deep red. We can add a little bit to this, but let's go ahead and just mix this into our protein, into our strands, and kind of just see what it looks like after this. Okay, so at this point, this is a super, super wet mixture. It came out very pink. So we're just gonna kinda just see what happens here. I mean, it is very wet. It's a very, very wet mixture. I might want it to be a little bit more dense to be able to work into a steak. And then all we're gonna do is just let this sit out for about 20, 25 minutes and see if those soy strands, those protein strands, kinda rehydrate a little bit. I think that might suck up some of this liquid, make this a little bit more manageable and easier to work with. Okay, so this has sat for about 20 minutes or so. It has firmed up, it has gotten quite a bit firm. I believe that that textured protein, those fibers soaked in a lot of the juices. I have a refined coconut oil, so I'm just gonna use this and just kind of scrape some bits of the coconut oil into the steak. Now this is a little bit different, than what we've done in the past with the coconut oil. 
If you had some coconut oil left over from the, the last burgers that we made from the Modernist Pantry, use that. That is gonna work really well in this. Right now, I'm just trying to get a proof of concept with these fibers if it makes a better steak. So at this point, we're just gonna have some parchment paper and I'm gonna spread this out onto some parchment paper, spread the meat mixture on here. Right now, this is not looking too appetizing, but we'll see what happens. Now, I just wanna get this to about the appropriate size so that way I can cut it in half and get two medallions. I was kinda of thinking that we were gonna get four out of this, but it's looking more like, like two medallion-sized steaks. And then we're also gonna wrap this in some aluminum foil just to kinda of tighten it up and help it keep its shape. Now one trick when using methyl cellulose is that if you heat it up, cool it down, and heat it up again, it creates an even firmer texture. So what we're gonna do is we are going to steam this, cook it for about an hour in the steamer. Okay, so this has been steaming. We're gonna remove the steak from the steamer. Definitely feels like it's firmed up quite a bit. And then I'm just gonna place this directly into the refrigerator for about an hour. Okay, so this thing's been in the fridge for a few hours, cooling down. This steak has gotten firm. I mean, it, it feels really good. I am really excited about this. So I was gonna try to figure out ways to cut this into like medallions, but I'm thinking of just cutting it into two strips. And I will say I'm pretty pleased with like the current look of these. So at this point, I'm just gonna drop a bit of olive oil onto my pan, cast iron skillet, and all I'm gonna do is just a bit of salt and pepper on each one. And we are seasoning our steaks, not our cutting boards, like some other YouTubers say to do. And let's go ahead and just drop these guys into the oil. Now I'm just gonna tilt and kind of spoon over some of the hot oil onto the steak because these steaks really, they don't have any fat in them. There's no natural fat built into them besides the coconut oil that we used. So just to keep these juicy and to keep them very meat-like, we're just gonna keep that hot oil spooned over the top. I feel like this is probably one of the most meatiest things that I have made, honestly. I mean, look at this thing. Look at it. It's wonderful. Okay, so let's just cut this open and just see really quick what the texture is like with these. You know, do we have a meaty-like texture? It still seems a little soft, unfortunately, but you could see where this is going. I mean, that has the nice kind of fibrous texture of a steak, but it's still just a pinch too soft. I believe this can really be improved with some different additives. Right now, just the methyl cellulose is not holding it together as well as I would hope, but maybe if this was mixed in with a little bit of gluten, with vital wheat gluten, you would get a little bit better texture, probably more of what we're looking for. But I will say by itself, it does have a very meat-like, come on, texture. You can see, very meaty, very, very meaty, and a nice chew. Those meat fibers really look like something. Well, this is the textured protein that is really gonna change the way that we make plant-based meats. I'm really excited about messing with this more in the future. It does have a nice taste and a really nice chew to it. Mm, happy about that. Hope you all don't mind the new kitchen. I'm gonna be here temporarily until we build the new set. If you wanna help me out with building the set, head over to patreon.com slash saucedash. I'm also gonna be launching memberships here pretty soon on YouTube. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for you to join and be a part of the Sauce Squad, like all these people right here. If you haven't yet, please make sure you click the subscribe button and click this video right here. It's gonna be another one of my steak videos.